Now, does that mean that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if someone was ignorant, will punish them? I know people born into families in which those families were completely secular. There was absolutely no role in religion. Some of them grow up and they really were not aware that they had to fast, they had to pray. What happens with these people? There are two points here. One is God forgiving or not forgiving. One is them being liable for that action. As for the first point, Allah is merciful. If someone really grew up in a family and due to their circumstances they were just completely unaware that they had to investigate, there was fasting, there was prayer, just a secular family. If these people when they grow up and realize and become aware and repent, Allah accepts. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not punish them. However, that, does that mean they're off the hook? All those years they don't have to fast? All those years that they miss praying they don't have to make the qada? No. Allah forgives but Allah says now bring it. Now that you're aware, you have to compensate for all those years. Some people see this as a burden. It's not a burden, it's an opportunity. Because every salah that this person missed, they missed out on something very big. Allah's rahma is that He's giving us another chance. Allah says, okay, for 10 years you missed out. I'm giving you another opportunity. I'm giving you another chance. So the one who has many years of qada should not see that as a burden. That's an opportunity that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving you. Be thankful to Him. Because every missed salah, that loss is greater than losing the entire world. Absolutely, believe in that. We have a hadith about that. That's the value of one prayer in the eyes of God. So that's an opportunity that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us. So when it comes to the qada, we are obligated. What about the kafara? Let's say for someone who did not fast. I know a lot of sisters, you know, will come and say, Sayyid, you know, I was nine, nobody explained to me fasting. I, I honestly was not aware. Many, many years later, I realized that I had to fast since I became religiously mature. And now you're telling me every day that I broke my fast, I have to pay a kafara? And the kafara is pretty heavy. Either you feed 60 people, which is about $120 if you want to, you know, give the monetary amount, or you fast two months for every day. <laughs> no one's going to do that, right? People are barely fasting the wajib month of Ramadan. Now for every day two months, no one really does that. Now scholars have mentioned that if someone was completely unaware that they had to fast, they were not even aware that fasting is an obligation. I know people who come from such families, Muslim families, but they're so secular, no one even makes a mention of Ramadan, of fasting, they really did not know. These people are not considered deliberately breaking their fast. So they just do the qada without having to pay for the kafara. But if someone knew that this is the month of Ramadan, fasting is wajib, Allah who created you made this wajib on you. If they understand this much, then yes, they would have to pay the kafara. So it really depends on the person's uh, circumstances as well. When it comes to trying to figure out if a person is excused or not.